Um, so first question is, do you think, can you hear me properly? Yeah. Do you think the problems teenagers face nowadays is different from the problems you faced as a teenager? I think that a lot of the problems are the same, but they, they are dealt with in a complete, like they're, the problems exist in a completely different way. Things like cyberbullying and um, social media and shaming and, you know, all the lifestyle stuff that happens with Instagram and, you know, people feeling inadequate and their mental health and stuff just wasn't, wasn't a 24 hour problem. Um, so we did still, you know, there were still people that were really mean to you. There was still bullying. There was still pressures with exams and all that kind of stuff. But it feels like you guys live a 24 hour life <laughs> of, you know, pressure. And it feels like you guys have more exams and more pressure than we did. Um, so it feels like it's always going up and always getting bigger because, um, so I'm gay. When I was at school, no one, no one would come out and no one would be gay and no one would identify as anything other than straight. So it does feel like you guys have got a, a like a, a more tolerant place in terms of that kind of thing and sexuality. The second question is, what is your favorite film? My favorite film is a film called Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, I know it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pan's I love it. Um, I really like, I really, there's so many things I really like about it. I really like that it is, it's two worlds. You've got a real scary world with like Spanish Civil War, and then you've got this weird, crazy, scary nightmare fantasy world. Uh, I really like the look of it. Um, I'm I'm really interested in fairy tales and myths and like legends and all that kind of stuff. Um, what is your favorite genre? My favorite genre as a film. Um, what is my favourite genre? I mean, it depends on the mood. I mean, I really like horror films um, because I love how immediate and emotional they are. If you sit down and watch a bad comedy, you might not, you probably won't laugh and you'll just sit and watch it and roll your eyes. Even if you watch a bad horror film, you will jump. Like, something will make you jump. Something will make you, like, nervous and you'll anticipate something's about to happen. And then, like, I love the kind of immediate emotional reaction that you get from, from horror films. Um, what is your opinion on black and white films? Uh, my opinion on black and white films. I like them. I wouldn't say I like them because they're black and white. Um, I, I've seen bad black and white films. Um, so, um, um and i would say that if you're going to make a black and white film nowadays there should be a reason for it because i think it's quite tempting to just make it black and white what do you think are the biggest issues with the new generation of teenagers biggest from your point of view yeah biggest issues the biggest issues um right let me just turn the share off um, biggest issues that you guys are facing. I think it is, um, what, the, what do you want? You want one issue or do you want a list of things? You can say a list. A list will be more helpful. Okay, good. I think the biggest issues for you include, um, I think pressure from other people online I, to look good, to fit in, to be cool, to be confident, to succeed at life. Like all of the stuff where you see images of people um, looking beautiful, looking skinny, looking happy, looking confident. I think that puts a lot of pressure on people. And I think um, that is something I see a lot. Um, the pressure to do yourself down as well, 
I think young people that I speak to very often tell me that they're not very good at stuff or that they um, they don't look pretty or their voice sounds stupid or whatever. I think there's a real, I think it comes from the pressure to look good. I think people do themselves down really easily and criticize themselves. Um, I also think the government doesn't make life easy for young people. I think um, we genuinely, there's a lot of pressure on young people to get qualified and get themselves ready yeah. to have these massive careers. Um, and I just don't think there is the support for them. Um, so you said before that you were director. Mm -hmm. And uh, you still are? Yeah. Okay. So as a director, what do you think is the most difficult thing when shooting a short film? Ah, okay. Um, so I think it's coming up with, with the idea. So you're saying the idea, but I said when shooting a short film. So okay. Like, what the idea? Okay. Um, uh, most difficult bit. I think. I think it's having the patience to let the other people slot in around because you've got the at that point you've got your idea you're in the room you're ready for it to go you've got to wait for the camera to be ready or the actor to have got their head around what you want them to do or you've got to wait for the set to be built or whatever it is and it's about balancing getting what you want done and letting other people fall in and contribute when you're dealing with actors when you have to explain to them like the storyline and how to act with the script, how would you do that? Would that be difficult? Um, I think it's important to chat through the story, so do what you call a table read. So you sit down with the script and you go through it, talk about your direction with it, what you want to achieve with the story, what for you is the most important thing about the story, and also how you see their character. But then you've got to let them do their creative process. So you've got to let them think about it, try ideas out and be flexible with them. So it's about, I think it's about sharing the process. So you're saying, I want this, but you also need to let the artist, the actor be an artist and develop their own thing too. Say, so, well, actually, I see the character like this and helping them find the way rather than saying, I think the characters should say do 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 like this. It's like no, actually, help them find their own re reason for that character to say that, and then you're kind of so you're giving them a clear instruction. Then you're giving them the room to do their creative process, and then you're watching and you're reflecting rather than just saying no, that wasn't quite what I wanted. I want this. So okay. I think giving them room. I think. What's a cliche aspect in cinematography? A cliche aspect. What do you see all the time? Um, oh, everyone likes grading things. So you've got blue and orange. Also, you see lens flare all the time. All oh, right. You see that all the time. That was very actually. Okay, thank you. 